Joining us now, author of the number one bestseller, The Russia Hoax, The Illicit Scheme to Clear Hillary Clinton and Frame Donald Trump, Greg Jarrett, and Florida Congressman Matt Gates. All right, Matt, I want to go to you first. Simple question. It's not that hard. What exactly do you know is happening and coming out? Meadows, Trey Gowdy, what do we have? I believe we are days, if not weeks, away from the most compelling evidence in the biggest political scandal in American history. Hannity viewers have known from the beginning that it was the dossier funded by Democrats that really fueled this investigation. But Comey and Brennan and Clapper, they didn't defend the dossier because it was written by a known liar, as you pointed out in your monologue. So instead, they pivoted and said they had all these legitimate concerns about George Papadopoulos. Here's what we're going to learn. Yeah, we had heard from an unverified foreign source that Papadopoulos might have been talking to some Russians. So there was Western intelligence sent to spy on Papadopoulos, and there's actually a recording and a transcript of that conversation. And there, Papadopoulos denies any illegal conspiracy between the Trump campaign and Russia. So they had evidence, presumably, that was against Papadopoulos and for him. And what they'll never be able to defend is that they never presented that evidence to the FISA court, a so court on top where there's of no defense attorney. We know that they were warned. They were warned by Bruce Orr, August 2016. They were warned by uh, this woman, Ms. Kavalak, mm -hmm. at the State Department 10 days prior to the signing of the first FISA application. Now we know on this whole new level you're describing, then they're withholding exculpatory information from this the FISA what, court to spy on the, is, an opposition party campaign? Absolutely. This is what Attorney General Barr means when he talks about them putting their thumb on the scale. The government has an obligation before a secret court with no defense attorney to friend. present all <laughs> of the excul not. exculpatory evidence that they've provided, all the exculpatory evidence. Here, they only presented evidence that would cast people associated with the Trump campaign in a bad light without their multiple professions of innocence. Now, Comey and Clapper and Brennan are all going to say, well, Papadopoulos might have known he was being surveilled when he said none of this stuff was actually happening, but there's still no excuse for why that didn't go before a court. And I'm sure Greg Jarrett can explain all of the laws and rules that they broke in <laughs> oh, well, why don't committing I just that let you fraud. host the show, Gates. I mean, you know, uh, by the way, I have a friend of mine in the studio, and that's why I was talking before. Go ahead. Um, Congressman Gates is absolutely correct. There's an extra duty that the FBI, James Comey, and Sally Yates of the DOJ had when they presented their warrant application to spy on somebody. If they have exculpatory evidence, they have to provide that. Not only that, as you've pointed out, all of the information has to be verified. If they discover later on that it's not verified or they were wrong, they have to immediately notify the court that we got it wrong, you must now reconsider. They didn't do any of that. That's a fraud on the court and five other a, felonies. It's a deep, it is a premeditated sure. fraud it is lying by omission, not highlighting who paid for it. Right. It's not verified. They were warned twice, maybe three times. They withheld exculpatory evidence. This is the highest level to one impact an election and the outcome. Right. Also the person that they saved from clear indictment. Number two, this is then an, an, an opportunity that they used to try and take down a duly elected president. It is rank corruption. It is using your law enforcement office to target somebody for political reasons and lying to a court in the process. It's abuse of power. It's perjury. It's a false statement. It's obstruction of justice. How did so all of those people things. pull this off? Let me throw that to Matt. How well, did... it's easy to invent a lie. It's even mm -hmm. easier to spread a lie if there's nobody there to challenge it. And this is an ex-party oh. hearing in front of the FISA court. Nobody on the other side to look out for Carter Page. And Matt Gates either Comey lied when he said, oh, she told me to call it a matter, or Loretta Lynch lied. One of them lied under oath. Which one? Uh, Pick one. Well, I mean, uh, I have clearly my you've option. got... You've got multiple circumstances where Comey was lying, and obviously this is why Comey is attacking our great Attorney General Bill Barr. Bill Barr is asking the right questions. We're going to get down to who committed these crimes, and my suspicion well, is that it roots back in the Obama White House. And remember, he signed the, said it was verified in October, told Trump, oh, it's unverified, but salacious. He lied there one of those times. I don't right. know how you get out of that one.